One of the most discussed topics in the Godot community lately is composition. It's a nebulous topic if you've never actually been taught about it, but it's a surefire way to improve your Godot workflows and organize your scenes better than ever before. So what is composition? It's a development technique most often used in web development, but it's been an industry standard for years in game development and other sectors also. It's a way of organizing code and data, and it most often is brought up in comparison with object-oriented programming. Alright, so what's object-oriented programming? It's sort of a golden child of development architecture. Those of us who studied CS or engineering in school learn about this day one. Day one, object-oriented programming. And if you're just starting to learn programming, it'll be one of the first things you get to read about. Basically, it's a way of inheriting data and functionality from other data and functionality and expanding on it. So you have a data structure for a human. Easy. What if you want a data structure for a mailman? Well, the object-oriented way of doing this is to make your mailman inherit from your human data. So if the human has a name, can walk, and can talk, so can the mailman. Then you can build on top of that new structure to give your mailman specific functionality like delivering packages. Super easy, right? Well, it kind of is. The problem that you run into with Godot, however, is what if your human needs to change but the mailman doesn't? Or what if you want some functionality from your human in other classes, like animals? But not all of them? Maybe you decided you want to add on running functionality to your human, but you've already gotten like three years into development in your game. This can cause some serious breakages within the Godot editor, not to mention the headache of having to modify all other inheriting data structures. Or what if you want maybe a mail delivering dog? They shouldn't be able to speak, so they can't inherit from the human class, but they need mail delivering abilities. At the end of the day, Using object-oriented techniques alone to solve this problem would lead to code duplication, and that's a huge no-no. Composition solves this issue. And while there is some more overhead in programming and organization, I think it's a great way to structure Godot games. Hell, even the editor uses composition to build out scenes. Let's try this example from a compositional point of view. The first step is to create your components. I call them modules, but don't get confused. These are portable, lightweight bundles of functionality that can be added to any parent scene. In this example, we create modules for speech, for movement, and for male ability. Now we'll make a few classes, maybe a human, a mailman, a dog, and a male dog. Just like magic, all we have to do is add on modules to these needed classes, copying them and duplicating them when necessary, and we've built out all of our scenes. I hope that helps visualize the benefits of composition and game development with Godot. There are all sorts of modules you can create, but here are a few to get you thinking. Maybe an inventory, a hitbox, a hurtbox, player detection. And if you want to take it even further, you can even nest your modules for maximum customization. Fair warning though, that can get pretty messy, so be sure you're using your favorite version control system. And that's that. That's composition. Used alone, it's a powerful architectural tool, and don't worry, it can be used in conjunction with object-oriented techniques to maximize functionality and speed up workflows. Coming soon, maybe in the next week or so, I have an in-depth composition tutorial with some code that you can download and play around with, so stay tuned for that. Until then, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're excited to try out some composition techniques in your games. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the subject. And if you have any questions, as always, I'd love to answer them. Cheers, everyone.